Windows XP tune-up video number six. Uh, we're going to learn uh, about services that you can turn off in Windows XP which will speed up your computer. Um, to uh, access uh, the interface what we're going to do is we're going to go to the start button, select the run icon, and in the box here we're going to type services dot msc and either choose enter or OK. Let me go ahead and make this larger. And I'm going to move this over so we can see the full name. Okay, this can look a little different uh, depending upon what version of Windows XP you're using. Uh, I'm using the home version. Uh, Pro would have uh, more options in here listed. And if you need to uh, uh, read what one of these entries are. You can highlight the entry and on the left it will it'll tell you a little bit about the service. Now I want to note that uh, I'm going to go through all of the services. Uh, typically what I would recommend is doing a few at a time, restarting your computer and testing your programs uh, and watching for error messages to pop up. That way if you need to, you can come back in here and uh, re-enable those services to regain access to your programs that aren't functioning. I, I would typically uh, do a few. Uh, every once in a while you'll hear me to uh, say uh, this would be a good reboot point. And then you can either come back to this video and rewatch and fast forward, or if you'd rather, you can take the time to go ahead and write these down one at a time and uh, that way you can later do them a few at a time. Okay, we're going to look through here. Um, okay, uh, clipbook services. To, to access these, uh, you can go ahead and just double click the item and that will bring up the properties page of the uh, service. And of course mine is already uh, disabled. If yours is started, you'll need to press the, the Stop Service button and then uh, open the drop down menu and select Disabled and then select OK. Let me see, I'm going to look through here. Yes, this uh, distributed link tracking client, we'll want to go ahead and turn this item off. First select stop the service and then we're going to change the startup type to disabled and select OK. And we're going to move to the next one, uh, DNS client. Uh, uh, this is for an Active Directory domain. If you are connected to an Active Directory domain you can leave this enabled. Uh, but uh, seeing how most people are not connected to that type of domain, they don't use this service. So I'm going to go ahead and stop and change the startup type to disabled and select OK. I'm going to move to the error reporting service, open the properties page, select stop and then change your startup type to disabled and select OK. Fast user switching. Um, this is uh, a utility used uh, where you can run multiple users. Uh, it'll keep a user logged into the computer uh, while another logs on. I'm going to go ahead and disable this function. It's already stopped and set to manual. I'm going to select disabled and select OK. OK. Uh, help and support. Um, you can leave this disabled. I don't typically use this service. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop, 
change the startup type to disabled and select OK. Okay, give me just a moment while I look through these. Now, of course, in one of the other uh, videos, we disabled the indexing service. Uh, we can go ahead and go in here and change, since it's already stopped, change the uh, startup type to disabled and select OK. Now here would be a good point to uh, go ahead and restart your computer. Um, if you do find something that is not functioning properly or you've lost a service that uh, you appear to use, you can go ahead and uh, go through the list of the ones we've currently done and re-enable re those a few at a time until you can re-access the, the program you're trying to access. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on with the disabling of the services. Okay, the uh, IPsec uh, service, uh, you really don't need that uh, uh, for, for security policies. Go ahead and open this, select stop, and then change the startup type to disabled. Okay, and the next one we're going to move down to is Messenger. Now this is not uh, MSN Messenger, this is Windows Messenger. Uh, you would want to turn this off. Uh, lots of uh, uh, spyware and malware uh, can use this service to create pop-ups on your computer. If you do use Windows Messenger, you would want to leave this enabled. Okay, so since I don't use that program, we'll go ahead and uh, disable Messenger. It's currently stopped. and We'll select Disabled and select OK. Let's see here. Okay, MS Software Shadow Copy Provider. This is a service. It's it's currently set to manual, which means that uh, if the service is needed, it'll go ahead and start up. But since I do not need this and wouldn't typically use this, I'm going to go ahead and disable this item. Select OK. See here, net logon. We can go ahead and, if the service is, is started, go ahead and stop and select it under the startup type as disabled and select OK. Uh, net meeting remote desktop sharing. Now, if you use net meeting, you could go ahead and, and leave this uh, <clears throat> set to manual. Uh, I do not use net meeting, so I'm going to disable this item. Once again, if the service is started, go ahead and select stop and then change the startup type to disabled and select OK.